I was a little bit nervous when I saw myself on PewDiePie's thumbnail. You're 44, Bobby. Didn't bring my sponge. <laughs> Some of you are asking me what's going on with Tote because it's kind of been dormant. Good morning to you. Morning, it is 2.30, good afternoon. I saw this post about tulips and all of the different kinds that exist in the world and I have the sudden urge to go and get some. Like the texture of tweed. They look fashionable. Success! I went for these colors. I'm just this giant yellow thing walking around. If you see me in the streets of Hong Kong, say hi. <laughs> I'm half vaxxed and in need of human interaction. I'll probably be wearing this trench a lot because I love it. Day studio. It is a cafe that takes up three stories of a walk-up building in Jordan and it is so cool. Each floor is really different. There's tons of bright colors, tons of different artwork and memorabilia and toys everywhere you look and on the top floor you can find two cats. <laughs> So whenever I come out, which is very rare these days, I bring a few outfits so that we can shoot a bunch of stuff. And we just found this cool building right behind me. So I'm gonna take a shot right here. Just doing this. <laughs> and I finally figured out what these bags are for. They're the perfect size for one hair clip. Didn't bring my sponge. <laughs> I've just come with all my stuff. <laughs> Fancy music playing here. I need to look for an outfit for an upcoming video to send off for approval, hopefully by tonight or tomorrow. So I'm on the hunt for something to wear. Some music though. Um, and they have robots that just go around and just, whoa! <laughs> it's so cute! Hello! Yeah. Is it? It's our birthday today! So you're looking for something small? Yeah, something small. I'll show you what we've got. Yeah, we'll take a strawberry. Okay. I just finished work for the day. I had my last two interviews for the French Hong Kong video. And now we've come to Repulse Bay. Did I say it's Rosie's, it's Rosie's birthday today? We have the number eight, so we got two fours, but it kind of looks like she's 44. You're 44, Bobby.
we're ready to go. TikTok cringe. Oh my god. How do you? Honestly, I was a little bit nervous when I saw myself on PewDiePie's thumbnail, but he went light on me. It wasn't too bad. How do I use this attachment just like this? This method? <laughs> this is like four. How much expensive is it? Yeah, it's fucking $400, right? How do you not know how to use it? To my defense, I don't even think Dyson knows about this use of their dryer. It's an alternate way that the internet found. Actually, I, for a fact, I don't think they do because I didn't add for them last December and I had to do a little training program thing and they never mentioned it at all. In the end, he I did retract his statement. I, I barely know how to function this camera and microphone. You know what? I retract this. But that was uh, pretty cool to, to be in one of his videos and my husband was so happy that a little corner of our house house was on PewDiePie's channel. Yeah, yeah, PewDiePie. <laughs> we? <laughs> Our house. Our house. I had such a nice weekend. It started Friday with the Art Night Out event that I hosted with Kelly in uh, collaboration with Women Boss. Hello guys, welcome to the beginning of Art Night Out. It's looking pretty cool inside of Women Boss. I'm really excited for tonight. his style of work, his color choices, and the things he talks about. Another artist I really like is Leon Lollipop. He also does some wall art around uh, Shemwan area. We visited a cat mural he painted the other day. It was really cool. So he likes to do a lot of animals. And I'm pretty sure he depicted Rosie's dream. Her favorite food is ice cream or cream or milk or cheese or dairy in general. So I'm pretty sure that's Rosie in her dream. We started at Woman Boss and then we went around to different small shops and art galleries and spaces and cafes and we just like did a little shopping tour. A bunch of you showed up and I'm really grateful for that and it was nice to do an event. It's been so long since I met some of you in person and it was just really, really nice to hang out. And then on Saturday, I spent the day catching up on sleep and uh, reading and tanning. Specifically, my husband was tanning his inner arms. How are they looking? Those are some sexy in our arms. Then on Sunday, I had to run some errands and we grabbed some Korean barbecue stuff and had a little barbecue on our roof. Today is Monday. We are off to a shoot. Promote this bag from Shanghai Tang. It's a really beautiful tote bag. I wanted Rosie to be in it. I've been carrying her around in bags since I got her pretty much because I used to bring her to my photo shoots or just to work with me both in Hong Kong and Japan. Um, so in, in influencer words when they're putting out an ad. I actually like this product. Alright, so it is crazy hot. Nothing really went according to plan today. We ended up just 
eating a bit in uh, the little park area that we found and it was so hot I quickly got ingredients to make dinner we came home and we passed out we took a nap so I just woke up and I'm ready to make dinner tonight we're gonna have a mushroom pasta I got a whole bunch of different gorgeous mushrooms this one is my favorite um, it tastes really peppery. It's a Japanese mushroom called maitake. Yeah, they are delicious. Just wipe them down with a damp cloth. You don't want to get them too wet because mushrooms are already wet. You have these kind with the stems. Just remove those stems. And then you want to gently tear the mushrooms. This is going to preserve the muscle-like fibers and just give them a better texture. This is something that I learned kind of recently. I used to cut it but um, it does make all the difference. So just tear the mushrooms into bite-sized chunks. I think yeah, you can start with those. Then we are gonna cut two medium shallots. I prefer the taste of shallots over onions, but if you don't have these or you wanna use onions, you can. Thanks, babe. Bye. Don't go all the way to the end so that you can hold it together and just slice it a couple times horizontally and then slice it about four times vertically and then just hold onto it and slice through it. We're gonna do six garlic cloves thinly sliced. Okay, and then lastly, we're just gonna prepare our egg mixture. For this, I'm going to add five egg yolks and one whole egg. I'm gonna whisk this all together. Then we're gonna add about four ounces of grated Parmesan and lots of black. You want to get your pan really hot, so I'm heating up a cast iron pan here for about four minutes before I begin. I also have some water boiling on the side here for my pasta. When it is nice and hot, you can go ahead and take four tablespoons of butter, or you can use olive oil if you like. I personally love the flavor of brown butter, so that's what I'm going for. I'm just giving it one stir through to evenly coat them all with the butter and then I'm going to leave it alone. And you don't want to add any salt just yet because adding salt too early will draw out the water from the mushrooms and it will prevent it from browning properly. So just hold off that and also hold off salting your pasta water just yet too because it makes it take longer to bring it to a boil. You're going to toss the mushrooms around about every five minutes and you're going to cook it for about 15 minutes total until it becomes brown. So I'm just going to generously salt the water and you want to cook that until it's about two minutes before al dente because we're going to cook it further in the pan with the mushroom sauce later. So if the package says to cook it for 10 minutes then just cook it for eight. Now you can see that all the water is gone. The mushrooms have drastically reduced in size and they're all golden brown and smell amazing. So it might take you a little longer depending on the mushrooms you use but just be patient and wait until it gets to this point. And then once it's here you can turn it down to medium low heat and add in the garlic and shallots and about a teaspoon of salt. Fry that for a minute or so. Scoop out about two cups of pasta water and have that on reserve on the side. So once that's soft, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of white wine to deglaze the pan. If you don't wanna add any wine, you can just skip this step. Just let that cook for a minute or so. about one cup of the pasta water. And we're gonna let the pasta absorb the liquid and cook for about two minutes. After that, just turn off the heat and let it cool down a bit. Now grab your egg mixture and you wanna add about a quarter cup of the pasta water to the mixture just so that it doesn't go into shock when you add it to the hot pasta. Very slowly add it in. You're gonna get something that looks like this, sort of. I have a bunch of broken noodles because I made gluten-free noodles, they're out of corn. Um, so yeah, they just behave a little bit differently. So now I'm ready to plate. I'm gonna top with a bit more black pepper, some fresh parsley, and Parmesan. Really good. I believe uh, if it's uh, open pasta, it would be better. Yeah, this is corn too, so it's a little bit like it falls apart a bit. The sauce is quite nice. Mm -hmm. It is so hot here. That cat is definitely a mood. Just finished a meeting and now we're heading to a cafe. Um, some, some of you are asking me what's going on with Tote because it's kind of been dormant past year or so. has been a bit difficult because of COVID and we are only two of us 
and things kept changing with shipping and packages were getting lost and it was just a lot to deal with being just the two of us and I kind of wanted to shift to focus on content and create silly videos for you guys regularly. Um, so I kind of put that on the back burner and I really want to think about the direction I wanted to go in and I was listening to your feedback. A lot of you want to know where exactly things are coming from and um, more sizes and I've been taking that all in and I'm finally ready to move forward and create something myself and um, it's happening. It's gonna take a little while longer, but I have been working behind the scenes and meeting people. So that's just a little update on the shop. Things are coming, but um, yeah, just a little while longer. Why am I out of breath? <laughs> There's a lot of slopes in Hong Kong. It's very hilly. That is a huge claim, the entire galaxy. my bikini wax so I am now waxed I'm vaxxed and I'm ready for summer I'm just going to meet Jessica now we're gonna grab a coffee at Landmark we just finished dinner at a pretty fancy place um, food was delicious but the portion sizes were quite small so we're going to get some pizzas now for our second dinner potatoes on pizza is so good have you had potatoes on pizza before? 